Tanisha Giddens is from the South Shore. She's back for her fourth year, hoping the camp will help her eventually get to the U.S. to play college ball. They teach you, you know, to never give up, whether it be academically or, you know, in sports. And you meet a lot of Louise. Man. You play sport at a high level, you're equipped for a lot. We decent. Love it. <laughs> I'm a very independent, caring, and disciplined person. I'm the head women's basketball coach at Concordia University. When I first came into um, the situation of being, you know, one of the first black female head coaches uh, at the university level in Quebec, I didn't really understand the magnitude of, of what that meant. It's a dribble handoff. We switch into action, switch it run them off those three-point lines. I don't want any step-back threes. I don't want her us backpedaling, and now she's just shooting a three in our face. Rewind up. That's just way too easy. Maybe the second year, and I realized, like, okay, no, you're one of the only black female head coaches in youth sports. I was like, well, wow. Like, that's a big deal. I will forever go down in the history books of being one of the first. Thank you. We have a challenge on Thursday. We all need to step up. It starts today in practice. Let's get it. Let's go. Together on two, one, two. Together. Every time that we're in this gym, it's just to get us an opportunity to compete. Nothing's ever guaranteed in life, and that's what she teaches us every day. Just being around her makes me want to achieve more for myself than I originally saw, because she sees something in me that I don't even see myself sometimes. Good, Arish. Bop, bop. Hey, go, let's go. Boop, boop. Fake. Good. All right, so catch, rip. Let's catch, rip. Counter comes up here. Boom. I'm tough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a coach for everybody. You guys are going like this, and you're already stopping. I'm gonna step through and go up. Stop being robots, let's go. One of the reasons why I came here is because she's a black woman. There's stuff that you can't explain that she on the same right away. Ah! Show me like. I've been coached by a black man, I've been coached by a white man, and uh, I don't see myself being coached by anyone else now. So that's the impact that she has on me, and I'm grateful for that. All the games are, are tough. Um, it's just every game has become tougher now because, you know, Serena Tashida is now out, you know, who's a phenomenal person. She's our team captain, our leader. How do I, as a coach, motivate and get everybody to to step up, to want to step up. I think it's an opportunity to rise to the occasion. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right, let's close our eyes. We got the big in the middle and everybody else wing wing and then deep. You have to find something within yourself together. If everybody does a little bit of that, we'll be okay. Today's an opportunity, right? There's four quarters, but it starts with the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Concordia women's basketball broadcast here at John Doerr Court for a battle between the Concordia Stingers and Bishop Skaters with a very tough matchup for Concordia here tonight. Step up! We're in the business of, I think, character building. Sport just teaches you so much. Like, it helps build character, it helps reveal character. Go get it, go hustle. You guys are doing a good job of hustling for those loose balls. Keep doing that. But we gotta get the rebound now off of that. And Neza working it that's inside. All right, that's all right. Rebound, rebound, rebound. She air balls it, rebounded by Louis. Fast break opportunity here for the Gators. Concordia will head into the locker room up by one.
as coaches, we have a special job. And I think there's a lesson in everything. I just try to f get everybody to find, you know, the power within themselves. Find that, you know, find that beast within you and, and bring it out. Concordia back with the basketball. Bergogno. Now go opposite to Blais. Blais. Intercepted. She'll take it back. Hold it, hold Still it. on the ground. Second free throw from Ineza. It's good. That was a, a great quarter there from the Concordia Stingers as they need to do that once again. And stop allowing second and third chance opportunities. Fly out. When I was younger, it was all about basketball. But as I got older, it was about what these young women accomplish and seeing them achieve their goals, seeing them excited about their accomplishments, that's what gives me the most joy. If they can keep doing what they've been doing, then we could be looking at, at a truly phenomenal upset. Bergogno for three, converts. And sometimes even when you compete at a high level, it just was not your day to come out with that dub. A lot of effort, but just not enough. The Stingers came in with something to prove here uh, in Mitchell Gymnasium. Can't get it to go, Louis on the board and puts that straight in. Three seconds left. Full measure to Concordia. Full measure. They deserve the win. It means a lot because I see what me being in this position has opened up for other people. It just motivates me to keep doing what I'm doing and to do it well.